Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Passion. This week we are talking about the All In Easy Fit shirt. Now for these videos, I sew up a whole bunch of samples in our latest pattern so that you can see exactly what's in that pattern. So let's have a look at the All In Easy Fit shirt. It is designed for woven fabrics, of course and comes in sizes 4 to 30 and there are a whole bunch of options so that you can get creative. We have different sleeves for you, we have different collars for you and we have little ways that you can get creative. Now the body shape or the silhouette on this one is an easy fit. It's not fitted but it's not oversized either. It is just relaxed and easy to wear so that you can make a weekend shirt, you can make a work shirt, you can use a slinky fabric and make a date night shirt. It is totally up to you. It does come in slightly at the waist and then flares out very gently over the hips. There is a yoke at the back and then a pleat down the back that you can make as a box pleat, so which sits on the outside, or you can make as an inverted box pleat, which sits on the inside. And that just gives you a little bit more room through the hips so that it's not super tight. It has an all-in-one placket, so there's no sewing on the placket. You just turn it under and that forms the placket itself. You can add buttons and buttonholes or you can add snaps. There is this fabulous shaped hemline, so going up at the sides. And then there is this optional pocket. You can put one or two. Again, it's up to you. There are four different sleeves. There is this sleeve with cuff, and the cuff has a single button, and then it has a bound opening, and then a double pleat. And I take you through step by step on how to do that with little tips and tricks along the way. There is also a plain long sleeve, and you can put elastic, or you can just have it loose. There are two short sleeves, there is a, just your normal short sleeve and then I've made one that's just a little bit wider through the top arm if you prefer a more relaxed sleeve. And then we have a ruffle that you can add onto that to just add that little feminine touch. And then we have our collars. We have two different collars. We have a plain or basic collar. Um, sometimes it is called a camp collar. It is just the collar, so it goes straight on to your neckline, like so, and that sits open. We then have the collar with stand, and that features, as you can see here, a collar stand and then a collar that sits over the top of that. That one is a little bit harder than the plain collar. So if you are new to collars, start with a plain one and then try one of those. So as you can see, it is totally trans-seasonal. Now it also pattern mashes with the meet you there and the take the chance dresses. So for instance, if you wanted to add one of those gorgeous um, balloon bishop type sleeves from the meet you there, then you can do that. A couple of the testers have actually extended that sleeve right down to the wrist um, to have this gorgeous dramatic effect on their shirt. And then if you wanted to make it sleeveless, you would just use the instructions in the meet you there and the binding piece that goes around the armhole and you could have a sleeveless shirt. And then pattern hacks. I have done two pattern hacks with this one. You can make a dress and it is so simple. It's just a matter of extending the line out from the hip so it does flare out a little bit, enough to cover over your hips. Um, and it's gorgeous. Um, I have one just here. So you could wear that as a jacket as well. It looks amazing as a jacket. And then I have made a cropped jacket as well here, so just with the plain collar, and I've just cropped it at my hip, and it's just an adorable little crop jacket. I've made mine in wool, so it's a little bit warmer, but you could make it in any of the fabrics that we recommend. Now, fabric-wise, linen, uh, linen blends. 
cotton, lots of different cottons. You could use a lightweight sateen, you could use a voile, you could use a um, double gauze, you could use um, viscose woven, of course. So if you are trying a shirt for the first time, um, so you're already learning new things, I would try an easy fabric, a shirt in cotton or any of the cottons. Um, linen, linen does move a little bit more, but it is a lot more stable than say your slippery fabrics like silk, crepe de chine, um, satin, <laughs> satin's hard. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of easy fabrics that you can use. Um, so this one here I have made in a linen from Tosuti here in Australia. It is gorgeous. It is such a beautiful quality linen. I love buying my fabrics from there. I have used the long sleeve or the shirt sleeve with the cuff and as I showed you before you can roll that cuff up if you want to. Really easy to just roll up and wear casually. I have done as I said um, the basic collar on this one so it just opens nicely. If you need to extend the length of your shirt there are two adjustment lines so that you can extend above the waist and below the waist. Um, or if you just want a little bit more length, you can just add on to the bottom. But what I tend to do is cut through the pattern and just shift it down. If you wanted just, you know, say four or five centimetres extra length. In this one, I have done the box pleat. Let me show you. I have done the box pleat at the back so the pleat is on the outside and I thought it would be super cute to wear over my sea change little jumpsuit with a little bit of a knot and then if you are off to work it is super easy to dress them up with the urban wide leg pants or the palazzo pants in the knit or in the woven really easy and relaxed but looking so sophisticated and chic or as a jacket on the weekend with your favorite shorts either in or out or the half top whatever is your vibe Next up, I have an awesome jacket or shirt style. I've used a tencel from Spotlight. So it has that little bit of structure to it. I've done the plain collar, the long sleeve, the shirt sleeve with the cuff, and put these little buttons a gorgeous buttonhole and double pleat and then I've put double pockets with the button matching buttons down the front and on this one I've done the box pleat and it is really lovely just casual easy weekend look and it just has that denim jacket style really casual and easy to wear and easy to just button up and wear as a shirt. With the double denim look. And if you want to roll the sleeves, it is gorgeously neat on the inside so that you can do that as well. Fabulous over jeans with your favorite denim shorts or with your favorite jersey knit dress. This is the Going Places dress. And you could wear it out, you could wear it tight at the waist, whatever suits your vibe. Mix and match with your favourite pattern important pieces to get the look that you are after. This is the Time Out Tank with the Heartlight Skirt in the shorter length, easy breezy. Your classic white shirt with a twist. This is matched with the Meet You There dress to have this fabulous sleeve that gives a little bit of drama to your shirt. There's just elastic along the bottom. Um, I've chosen the shorter sleeve in that pattern. 
This one has the collar with the stand, so you can see the stand there and the collar. The box pleat at the back and you can see my lovely placket. And then this easy shirt tail hemline. A gorgeous classic look that you can wear for weekend wear. You can tuck in fully if you want it. Or wear it out. Easy breezy. Match back with the urban wide leg pants for that really classic black and white look. Whether you want to wear it out or tucked in or you might even like to do a little tie. Or keep it super casual and wear it as a jacket. Or keep it super casual with the vacation vibes. For a winter vibe, I have made a little cropped jacket. So I've used the long sleeve with the cuff. This is a wool from Mood Fabrics in the States. You can see, isn't it beautiful? Um, and I just tried it on and then cropped it to my hips. So that it was just like a little cropped jacket that sat below my waist. And it is the plain collar, the box pleat at the back. Gorgeous, lovely, easy breezy, easy to wear closed. For a little bit of warmth, you could wear that over the turtleneck keep it simple top. That would look fabulous. Just easy to wear. And a fabulous choice for work, whether you live in a cooler climate or you have frosty air conditioning at work, this little jacket is the cutest. With a dress. worn with a skirt and top. And now for a little bit of fun. I'm sure you've seen the matching sets out there in the stores. You can make your own. These are the vacation vibe pants that I've just cut off a lot shorter. You can also use the getaways. It really just depends on what you prefer. For my body, um, because of my hip dip, the vacation vibes are better because they just have that little bit more room through here. They swing out, they flare out a little bit from the waist. Whereas the getaways, they come straight down from the hips. So if you're like me and you need that little bit more room through your hips, go the vacation vibes. Cut off short and then they just have elastic in the waist and I added the inseam pockets. And then the shirt, isn't this adorable? Look at this. Isn't this little ruffle so cute? And depending on the fabric that you use is going to depend on how this is going to sit. Um, it will sit softly with a rayon. It will sit a lot more stiffer with a cotton or a linen, of course. And then we have our little plain collar, a pleat at the back and our yoke and just really lovely and easy and fabulous. So vacation. And then I've added these little contrast buttons so they sort of stand out. Now if you are finding that this, this look, particularly with the shorts, is very PJs, it's kind of supposed to be. But you can pair it back with your favourite jeans or denim shorts and still fabulous over your fitted dress. It just gives you that little bit more coverage and just easy. And last but not least, we have a dress. In the pattern I show you how to make a dress. It is very, very simple. For this one I have done 
the long sleeve. I've used these fabulous large buttons. Now technically on this shirt it is designed for a 15 millimeter button but you're making it you put whatever button you want. I've used quite a large button. If you have a light fabric like um, a viscose try not to go too heavy with your button. These ones are quite light so it doesn't drag the fabric down. I have done again the plain collar. It really is the easiest collar. Um, it is my preference. Obviously I've only made one in the, the white linen one. Um, I really do love the plain collar just because it sits out so beautifully. And then you still have the shirt tail hemline, um, the pleat at the back. This one is an inverted pleat and the yoke of course. And then this is a viscose from Tasuti and of course beautiful quality. It is just gorgeous. And then you have your double pleats and your little opening. Absolutely love it. I didn't get a chance to make a belt, a sash, but you can make a fabulous one. You could keep it soft and just use a really light interfacing on the inside or or you could make it nice and thick. You could put like a heavier weight interfacing on the inside um, and that would give you a little bit of structure to your belt. We have a little visitor. <laughs> um, so anyway, here is a belt that I have and it's not a belt, it's actually a handbag tie but to add a little bit of detail and pull the dress in a little bit. Allows it a little bit more evenly. To dress up an outfit and wear it as a jacket. How good is that? Or to make casual comfort just a little bit more special. This is very much my vibe. Now there are a couple of more sleeves that I haven't shown you but the testers will show you them. Um, there is the wider long sleeve that you can do plain or with elastic and it's just that really lovely basic sleeve. As you can see it is super versatile and you can easily put your creativity on it whether it's with your fabric choice, with your styling choice, with the elements that you put together or even some fabulous buttons. You can get as creative as you want to. Now I know you want to see more shirts so starting from tomorrow morning Australian Eastern Standard Time all the testers will begin sharing their shirts over the course of the week. And then on Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 Daylight Saving Time in Australia. Um, it is our pattern release and it is a double. I will pop a link to the other shirt down the bottom so that you can have a look at that one too. And of course, during our pattern release, you get a discount on our two new patterns, plus a couple of other patterns that I have worn in this video that you can mix and match to get the look that you want. If you want to know the fabrics that I have used in this pattern, I will do a collage of the fabrics and the styles and share that in our Facebook group. And if you haven't watched the Ocean Days oversized shirt, you can go there now. It should come up with a little link above somewhere. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the group.